Oak. The supply chain crisis now impacting your heating bill, your grocery bill, and everything that's in between. So right now, we're already seeing sharp increases in the price of clothes, up 4.2%, meat up 8.6%, eggs 9.9% from just a year ago. Prices already surging for natural gas, propane, and electricity. The EIA says heating bills could jump as much as 54% compared to last winter, which makes a new lg and &E hike even more concerning. Al Smith tells us about the increase that could be coming to you starting in November. We recognize that this is uh, significant. We recognize that this is a challenge and we want them to know that we're here to assist them. Your LG and E bill might look a little different come November. This past weekend, LG and E got approval from the Kentucky Public Service Commission for a quarterly natural gas cost adjustment. But what is that? LG and E spokesperson Natasha Collins explains it's the cost LG and E pays to purchase the natural gas. This is a direct impact of any increase or any savings. It's directly passed on to customers. Customers. And since right now what we're seeing is uh, an increase, then that's why this adjustment is as it is. According to the company, the average homeowner's bill could go up by about 33%, an estimated increase of about $22. Price increases are hitting different areas of our lives, from the grocery store to the gas pump, and now our utility bills. Dr. Jose Fernandez, associate professor and chair of the economics department at UofL, said there are several factors at play here, things like a slowdown in production and reductions in the national inventory. We do see an increase in inflation. Some of that is supply driven in the fact that we don't have enough workers coming back to work, so we're not able to get the products out. Uh, but there is a small increase in inflation. The U.S. industry is also dealing with lower natural gas production following the damage from Hurricane Ida back in late August. All of these factors are playing a role in the increase that Collins recognized could be difficult for customers. I would uh, let them know that we um, understand that this is a challenge and that this is something that is significant. This adjustment will be in place starting November 1st through January 31st, 2022. In Louisville, I'm Al Smith for WHAS 11 on your side.